This video tutorial will show you how you can easily clone Eurotherm temperature controllers. By clone, I am referring to saving the configuration information from a controller into a clone file, which can then be loaded into another controller. For this demonstration, we are going to use a 3216 with the Eurotherm USB clip. The USB clip is compatible with the 3000 series temperature controllers as well as the NanoDAC and Mini 8. You can clone 2000 series controllers if you have a communications module or if you have a Eurotherm configuration station. Before moving forward, you should have already installed the iTools software package as well as the appropriate driver for the USB clip. You can download the iTools software package from either the Eurotherm website or our processcontrol.tv website. Our processcontrol.tv site also provides the USB clip manual as well as a link to download the drivers. The manual has full instructions for installing the drivers. Okay, let's get started. The first step will be connecting to the controller. The clip has a 5-pin connector that plugs into a socket on the side of the controller. Line up the pins and it should snap into place. The connector can be inserted independently of the device being fitted into its sleeve or not. After the clip is connected to the controller, plug the USB connector into your computer. Next, open iTools and press Scan. Select Connect via CPI clip or IR cable and press OK. You can also select Scan All Device Addresses since controllers connected to the CPI clip will be found at address 255 regardless of the address configured in the controller. When an instrument is detected, a screen view similar to the one shown will be displayed. If you did not select Terminate Scan When First Device is Found when you connected to the controller, you will want to now press Scan again to stop further scans. Allow the controller to finish synchronizing before proceeding. In order to clone the controller, go to the toolbar at the top and press the Save icon. Navigate to the appropriate directory on your computer where you would like to store the file, give it an appropriate name, and ensure that the save type is .uic. Then click Save. You now have a clone file with all the configuration settings of the controller. When finished, click Remove to safely disconnect the controller. Once iTools finishes removing the controller, you can disconnect it from the clip and connect the new controller in the same way you connected the first. It is important to note that both controllers must have the same exact hardware model code. Once you finish scanning and synchronizing, click the Load button at the top toolbar. Navigate to the file that you previously saved and click Load. Once iTools finishes loading the configuration, ensure that there were zero errors. Allow the controller to once again synchronize and then click remove and you are finished. Your controller has successfully been cloned.